State Parole Board heard from the man convicted in the killing of Lexington Police Officer Brian German, deciding whether or not he should be granted parole. I'm going to try to give you more time to coach that last game. Coming up, we'll take you inside the governor's prayer breakfast, where Coach Calipari is the keynote speaker. Definitely not the best looking day, but what we're going to be seeing, another shot at a wintry mix rolling through in the next few hours. We're going to go over that, and I'll show you who has the best chance. A little more snow accumulation coming up. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good afternoon, and we're glad you're with us on WKYT News. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Barbara Bailey. Winter will be hanging around the bluegrass for at least one more day. Our first shot of snow has moved out of the region, but another wintry mix is expected this afternoon and into the evening hours. We'll have to deal with that. We are holding on to that WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day to keep you up to date on the situation in your area. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris joining us live now with this chance of snow later on. Yeah, and that's what we're looking at later on the next few hours it really starts to build into the region it's not a heavy snow threat it's not a major impact type of situation but it will impact our forecast later on in the afternoon off into the evening when people are coming home from work and and whatnot trying to get out to dinner it's, it's going to be impactful at that time watch this okay so this system is barreling toward us it has that mixture going on. As we spoke about this morning, you're going to have rain and snow with this one. So when it rolls on through, yeah, you'll have some rain mixed in. So don't look for heavy snow totals out of this. And you can see it's heading down toward the east and southeast. So here's the deal. The best chance to actually pick up on some accumulating snow is I-64 southbound. I believe it's more than likely going to be right around that Cumberland Parkway and Howe Rogers Parkway. That's the best bet around it, okay? Could be a little north, could be a little south. We're going to talk about that where I, I'm going to pinpoint it, show you exactly where I'm expecting it, and also how much coming up in a few minutes. All right, Micah, see you then. Well, weather was a factor in a crash that sent an SUV into a central Kentucky lake. It's a very frightening scene. Police say a father and son were in the SUV when they hit a patch of ice on Belvedere Drive off US 60 west of Georgetown, and it sent their car right into the water. WKYT's Victor Puente talked to the son about what he credits with saving their lives, and he continues our top story team weather coverage at noon. The two people who were in that RAV4 managed to escape after their vehicle plunged into this frozen lake. 17-year-old Michael Dahl told me that he and his father, Lance, were on their way to Frankfurt when they hit a patch of ice while going around this curve. The next thing he knew, they were in this lake with water coming into the vehicle. It, it just all happened very quickly. You just, you, you just don't think about anything, honestly. Um, it was cold, <laughs> to say the least. Michael was able to get his door open. His father followed him out. Both were able to get up on the embankment. Paramedics checked them out, but neither of them had to go to the hospital. Dahl says his training as a Boy Scout and a member of the Civil Air Patrol probably saved both of their lives. I knew, you know, we weren't sinking that fast. And that just told me that, you know, you could open the door and, uh, and get out. The Dahls live less than half a mile from this lake. After the crash, Michael's mother came and picked both of them up. I asked him what that moment was like. He said he didn't want to talk about it, but admitted it was very hard. In Scott County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Well, quite a scene. Thank you, Victor. Scott County Sheriff's deputy said that crash was the only one accident that they have been working this morning. That uh, is fortunate. Well, a man injured in a weather-related crash in eastern Kentucky has died. The Perry County coroner says 57-year-old Patrick Campbell was ejected when the SUV that he was in flipped over several times on Highway 7 in the Viper community. Three other people had to be cut out of the SUV. We don't have an update on their conditions at this time. This latest winter blast also causing air travel issues all across the country and here in Lexington. At Bluegrass Airport, there are several delays due to foggy conditions in this area, and two departing flights and one arriving flight from Charlotte have been canceled because of bad weather there. You can track the snow and the latest road conditions with the WKYT Weather Plus Traffic app. You can download it for free in the app or Google Play stores. 
A parole board has denied early release for a man convicted of killing a Lexington police officer. Glenn Donahai is serving a 20 year sentence for manslaughter in the 2010 hit and run death of Officer Brian Derman. He pleaded his case to the board this morning from the Little Sandy Correctional Complex. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is in Elliott County now with reaction. 39 year old Glenn Donahue spent about 45 minutes in video conference with the state parole board talking about his time here in prison and why he feels he should be released early. The hearing started out with parole board members asking Donahue what he had done to get where he is now. That second degree manslaughter conviction for the hit and run death of Officer Brian Derman. I have an appeal in right now, so my 14th Amendment right says that I have equal, equal rights and protection of the law which means that I cannot or should not speak on anything that might later incriminate right. me. So I'm not at liberty okay. to discuss that. Because of that appeal, the death of Officer Derman was not discussed during the hearing, instead focusing on the convicted killer's criminal record that includes numerous drug-related offenses and assaults. Donahue's behavior and activity while in prison was also discussed. He explained several programs he has completed, including one called Cage of Rage. As well as classes like horticulture and carpentry. Donna High says he has spent time reading and studying the parole board book, then working to do what is needed to get that early release. Pretty much done all that you guys have asked of me, uh, you know, couldn't do any more as far as uh, staying on the requirements or request of the DOC and the parole board and everything of that nature, but. Uh, other than that, just to make you aware that I have pretty much done my part. The board spent about 10 minutes discussing Donahue's case, ultimately deciding to deny him parole, saying he could come back again in two years. In Elliott County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Now, Donahue has fewer than seven years left to serve out his 20 year sentence. An annual tradition today at the state capitol in Frankfurt, the 50th Governor's Prayer Breakfast was held this morning at the convention center. And as WKYT's Mark Barber reports, a very familiar face was this year's guest speaker. This is the 50th year that religious leaders have united to pray for state leaders during the governor's prayer breakfast. While it's really a tradition for some governors, it's personal for Matt Bevan, who is outspoken about his faith in Jesus Christ. That faith was celebrated this morning by hundreds of people who filled the Frankfurt Convention Center to pray. Many said prayer is needed for our families, our state, and our nation because we're facing increasingly troubling circumstances. Bevan says while some might consider events like this politically incorrect, it's important for Christians to stand up for their beliefs. We do live in a world where we're increasingly apologetic for moments like this, and I challenge you, don't be. Keynote speaker, Coach John Calipari, focused on the importance of prayer and giving back. He attends Catholic Mass every morning, and he says his values are reflected in his players' first approach. You got to do what's best for these young people, and if their opportunity is to go to the league, to do well, and then to use those blessings for others, which they do, it's a good thing. Governor Bevan ended this morning by saying he does not want the prayers for his administration to end today. He asked everyone to continue praying for him, saying that he needs prayer more now than he did before the election. In Frankfurt, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. And the lieutenant governor also focused on the importance of prayer this morning. She says there has probably been more prayer in her office over the last two months than there ever was over the last 50 years. U.S. Senator Rand Paul is planning his first big trip across Kentucky since ending his presidential campaign. It started today. Senator Paul will visit 18 cities this week, starting this afternoon in Scottsville. He'll be in central Kentucky Friday and Saturday. Paul says he'll help Governor Bevan get a waiver from the federal government to begin charging Medicaid recipients for their health insurance. Paul is being challenged for his Senate seat by Lexington Mayor Jim Gray, who's favored to win the Democratic nomination. Well, the presidential candidates are getting more cutthroat ahead of the caucuses in Nevada and the South Carolina primary. We'll take you out on the campaign trail coming up on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, it was a night of first for Eastern Kentucky native Chris Stapleton at the 58th Annual Grammy Awards. 
We'll explain next on WKYT. It's time to wake up. You've got things to do. Mouths to feed, work to get done. It's another Kentucky morning. And Kentucky mornings start here. Good morning, I'm Bill Bryan. And I'm Rebecca Smith. You don't have time to waste, so we don't waste your time. Simple as that. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. The treasure folks are loving is the ocean's greatest haul. McDonald's filet o fish the most golden of them all. Right now, get two flaky filet of fish sandwiches for just $5. Reclaim your bathing freedom in a new walk-in tub from One Day Bath by America's Window. It's the tub with a low step-in, chair-height seat, and grab bars for added safety, plus hydrotherapy for extra comfort. We can install in as little as one day, so don't wait. Call now to take advantage of our winter blowout sale. Get $2,000 off a new walk-in tub with convenient credit terms available. Plus, act now and receive a wall system at no additional charge with your walk-in tub purchase. Call now. If you have arthritic knee pain that's stopping you from enjoying life, this new information about Osteo Relief could be for you. Specially trained local doctors are now using advanced medical science to finally make headway for people suffering from knee arthritis pain. It may even be for those who suffer from bone on bone and are considering knee replacement surgery. Are you one of the millions of Americans who have difficulty with simple everyday tasks, rising from a chair, walking, climbing stairs without using the handrail? If so, the Osteo Relief Method utilizes cutting edge video motion imaging. With this imaging, these doctors can precisely guide an FDA approved cushioning gel to relieve pain and help heal your knees. This innovative procedure is covered by Medicare and most major insurance if you qualify. And you'll be walking out in as little as 15 minutes. For a limited time, these specially trained doctors are offering a risk-free screening. Call to schedule your knee relief screening today. Wake up with a hot McCafe coffee starting at only $1. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. Donald Trump is coming out swinging again on the campaign trail, targeting the Bush family and Ted Cruz. Craig Boswell has this report from Charleston, South Carolina, where voters will be heading to the polls for a primary on Saturday. Jeb Bush. George W. Bush took the stage in South Carolina Monday to help give his younger brother Jeb's campaign an extra boost. The former president gave a speech with thinly veiled jabs at Donald Trump. Jeb's a man of humble, deep, and genuine faith. Faith that reveals itself through good works, not loud words. Trump hit right back. Why do you mention Jeb Bush? He's not competitive. Although his brother came today, they're having a thing. They're trying to make competitive, but I don't think it's going to happen personally. But Trump reserved his deepest insults for Ted Cruz. I think Ted's a very unstable guy. I've never seen anybody that lied as much as Ted Cruz. The attacks come just days before Saturday's Republican primary in South Carolina. It's the first time voters in the South head to the polls in this presidential campaign. College of Charleston political science professor Kendra Stewart says the 2016 GOP race in the state is unusual. Traditionally, I would say a candidate like Cruz would be very appealing in South Carolina, but this time, you know, Trump is leading in all of the polls, and traditionally he's not a candidate that South Carolina voters would support. Stewart predicts the Republican field will narrow after Saturday's primary results. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Charleston, South Carolina. Now, Trump is at this point threatening to sue Cruz again over his eligibility to run for president. Senate Republicans are uniting behind Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky in finding a replacement for Justice Antonin Scalia. He died suddenly over the weekend while on a hunting trip to Texas. They're now insisting that President Obama's successor fill the Supreme Court vacancy instead of the president doing it now, as the president said he will do. Democrats looking to reclaim the Senate majority immediately accused the GOP of putting politics ahead of their constitutional responsibility. The White House again saying President Obama will make a nomination once the Senate returns from recess. 
A new wing of a Louisville hospital is going to be named after actress and Kentucky native Jennifer Lawrence. Her foundation donated $2 million to help build a state of the art cardiac intensive care unit at Cosair Children's Hospital. The facility will help children recovering from a variety of heart conditions. Lawrence's family says the children at Cosair touched her heart when she visited at Christmas. And now she's calling on the community to step up and match her donation. Well, it was a big night for Kentucky native Chris Stapleton at the 58th Annual Grammy Awards. He won his first Grammy before the telecast even started for Best Country Solo Performance. During the live show, his debut album, Traveler, was named Country Music's Album of the Year. He then took to the stage with Gary Clark Jr. and Bonnie Raitt to pay tribute to the legendary B.B. King. Coming up at 1230, we'll tell you what Montgomery County emergency management officials say could become a big problem moving forward. And I'm meteorologist Micah Harris so looking at our next wintry mix. We're going to track that, show you the details on when you can expect that and who's going to see more accumulating snow. That's coming up next. Get WKYT news and weather updates on News Radio 630 WLAP. It's bold, it's exciting, it's groundbreaking. Toyota is the President's Weekend event. Now through Tuesday, get $500 President's Weekend bonus cash on any new 2016 RAV4. Lease America's best-selling car, Toyota Camry. Now for just $179 a month, or get 0% financing plus $500 bonus cash. Don't miss the President's Weekend event going on now. Toyota, let's go places. Just in time for your long winner's nap. 0% financing for six years and free TVs. This week at Sleep Outfitters. Savings storewide with Sealy mattresses as low as $99 each piece. This Sealy gel foam pillow top just $4.99 with a free TV. A Tempur-Pedic adjustable queen set just $34 a month. 0% financing for six years. Free TVs, storewide savings, and free same-day delivery. Happening now at Sleep Outfitters. Reclaim your bathing freedom in a new walk-in tub from One Day Bath by America's Window. It's the tub with a low step-in, chair-height seat, and grab bars for added safety, plus hydrotherapy for extra comfort. We can install in as little as one day, so don't wait. Call now to take advantage of our winter blowout sale. Get $2,000 off a new walk-in tub with convenient credit terms available. Plus, act now and receive a wall system at no additional charge with your walk-in tub purchase. Call now. You've just been in a car wreck. You're in pain, worried about car repairs and medical bills. And the insurance company doesn't seem to be able to help. Haven't you been through enough? I'm attorney Darrow Isaacs. Just call me after you've been hurt in a car wreck and I'll work hard to get you the money you deserve for your car repairs, medical bills, and pain and suffering. Call me there's a way to go down to five five three oh oh oh. You know why I love the feud? Steve Harvey, 2016 for president! Yes, Lord! <laughs> yeah! Because I love watching this. Name something Grandma might store under her boobs. Her teeth! Come on, Grandma, time for dinner. <laughs> Family Feud, one full hour starting at 7 on the CW Lexington. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. We are looking around the state of Kentucky and seeing those dry roadways for the most part. We're taking a bit of a break, but you know what? It's going to become a little bit more active as we go throughout the next few hours. There's London I-75 down toward Laurel County. It looks pretty good. Mountain Parkway have heard of no issues whatsoever. And, and you know what? The Parkway, I don't see it being touched that much with this system coming on through. And if it does, it's a few flakes, nothing that's going to cause an impact later on this evening and off into the nighttime hours. So if you're trying to travel that way here in the next several hours, you should be just fine. Lexington, however, around 64 and southbound, that's going to be a different story. We're looking at a system barreling down and knocking on our doorstep across 65. And then as we continue to go through the next few hours, it becomes pretty widespread. 
in the southern half of our viewing area. Already seeing that mixture go on as you work your way back down toward Greene County, also Russell, uh, Dare County. You work your way into Columbia, starting to see those sprinkles move off into the region. Clinton County now becoming pretty widespread. But give it another two to three hours, and it really gets into our viewing area. The best chance is going to be that I 64 corridor, which does include Lexington. And southbound. That's the best chance of seeing not just snow chance, but also the wintry mix chance, the rain and, or the snow. So that's the best area. What you can expect out of this? Well, it looks like southbound is going to be the best opportunity to pick up some light accumulation. I would say the Cumberland Parkway, How Rogers Parkway, around those, if you're around that, that area, that parkway, those corridors, you'll have the best opportunity to pick up a coating to one inch. It's not that scary, is it? I mean, this isn't a big system, but it could have a few headaches as we slide throughout your late afternoon into early evening hours. Isolated spots could be as high as two inches. So the farther you go southbound, better likelihood of picking up some accumulation out of this. We go into tomorrow, just a couple of flakes during the morning hours, and then that fades. So it's really a mostly dry day tomorrow. Still pretty chilly, though, in the 30s. But then Thursday and Friday, Boy, we really start to flip that page over. I mean, you're seeing the 50s show up, some 60s, some really good numbers show up in your seven day forecast. And that takes you off into the weekend, too, with 50 and 60s. So, guys, we got to get through today. It's one more day of possible accumulation. Tomorrow, you won't have accumulation, but one more day, one more. And then we're not in the clear, but it's much better as we take off toward the weekend. You get a little hint of what uh, spring may be like, right? A little hint, yeah. A little bit. A nice little break. Coming up on the weekend. That's Look right. forward to that. Thank you, Micah. We're coming back in a moment here on WKYT for the second straight year. An unbeaten three year old is turning heads. And what has turned things around for Cal's Cats? Dave Baker's next with sports. And it's back to trading on the markets, and all the major market indicators are pointing upward at midday. Secretary of the Navy's daughter's been kidnapped. You hand over the ransom, I'll hand over your daughter. I can't let you do that. I don't take orders from you, Agent Gibbs. Drop the money. Give me my daughter! <laughs> Gibbs? New NCIS. Then. It's part of the plan. The plan. Multiple attacks. We let him go, he's gonna attack New Orleans. Or help us save it. New NCIS New Orleans after NCIS CBS Tonight. What do these women have in common? They are the staff of Ageless Medical Weight Loss. They've lost a combined 1,300 pounds. The team at Ageless will understand your struggles and celebrate your victories. For a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. And hopefully this check will make things a lot easier. It'll cover your medical bills, and we've even given you an allowance to help cover your expenses while your car's getting worked. All you need to do is sign right here, and we'll take care of everything else. Thank you so much. What's a smiling cheater? Jay Marshall, a smiling cheater is still a cheater. If you want to make sure you get all your money, you better call Hughes and Coleman. Call 800-800-4600. We have an abundance of natural resources here in the bluegrass. More miles of running water than any state in the continental U.S. You may not know it, but all those creeks and streams catch water directly from our storm sewers on the streets. That means when someone tosses a cigarette butt on Main or Vine, chances are good it'll end up in Town Branch. Leave some pet waste on a sidewalk near Versailles Road, it goes into Wolf Run Creek. Help us protect what's priceless. 22 million people were injured in the bathroom last year alone. So call your friends here at One Day Bath by America's Window. Discover a safe and secure way to bathe in a new walk-in tub. Visit our showroom here in Lexington, located at 1190 East New Circle Road. Browse 14 baths and showers on display. Take back your bathing independence with a new walk-in tub like this. Look at the low step and easy access side door and chair height seat. Enjoy that spa-like experience with hydrotherapy warm water massage. Ask about barrier-free showers for easy wheelchair access and tub-to-shower conversions. 
Hey, if you've been thinking about it, then now's a great time to call during our winter blowout sale. Take advantage of special savings with $2,000 off your new walk-in tub with convenient credit terms available. Act now to receive a wall system at no additional charge with your walk-in tub purchase. Don't miss out. Call right now. Everyone is singing praises about essential oils and trying to make their home free of toxic chemicals. Get the facts yourself and learn how Young Living Essential Oils can help support your family's health and well-being. Visit JustOneDrop.com for more information and local classes. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. A few seasons back, it was just a case of everyone getting a little older. Last year, it was the tweak, and now everyone around the SEC and all of college basketball trying to figure out what's turned things around for this Kentucky basketball team. Sure, Scalabisi Air has gotten better after his early season struggles. And Derek Willis has been a big surprise, and the lineup has changed and solidified with that injury to Alex Poitras. But Cal says this isn't anything new. It's a formula that he's followed before. Well, I'll tell you, this is the... This all comes back to, like all my teams, when we really guard, we have a chance. And this team, uh, uh, we had to shift after. We, we spent probably two to three weeks on offense because I just didn't think we were good enough offensively to make any kind of run. Uh, but by doing that, we got away from what we do defensively. And so now the last, after, since Tennessee, all we're doing is really focusing on how we're guarding Another name emerging in UK's search for a new defensive backfield coach, Texas A&M secondary coach Terry Joseph. He's reported to be a candidate. UK spokesman says the school isn't close to naming a replacement for Derek Ansley, who left to go to Alabama, and that there are multiple candidates still to be considered. Racing at Santa Anita yesterday, the three-year-old debut of Nyquist, the Breeders' Cup juvenile winner, and coming down the stretch with Mario Gutierrez in the saddle, Nyquist. Look at the way he holds off Exaggerator. Exaggerator's an incredible colt, too. A one-and-a-half length win. Racing Insiders called it a jaw-dropping performance for trainer Doug O'Neill. Dead Man's Call was third. That makes six straight victories for Nyquist, who's now earned $1.7 million. Could we be on the verge of another super horse? Tonight on the Big Blue Insider with Dick Gabriel, UK beat writer John Hale of the Courier Journal. That's at 6 on 630 WLAP. Guys, that's a look at sports on your Tuesday. All right, Dave, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And we hope you'll keep it here on WKYT. There's much more to come in our next half hour of WKYT News at Noon. An historic northern Kentucky store that was destroyed by fire is getting a new life. Another snowfall on the way means more work for tired crews and worn out equipment in Somerset. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $94 million, and tomorrow night's Powerball jackpot, $189 million.